and welcome to the Donna Bella podcast. Become a better you by leveling up in all aspects of your life. Elevating our thoughts and upgrading our standards with your host, Donna. As women, it's really important that we level up. And to level up means basically you're elevating your status in life, your stature in life. You're going to be working on yourself and not remaining stagnant. So in this episode, we're going to be talking about leveling up and how to spoil yourself. Because sometimes we tend to neglect ourselves and worry about everything else and then we slowly but surely fall apart. Step number one on spoiling yourself, we must talk about working on your mental health and self-love. These are some things that we don't want to fall apart. We don't want to break down, we want to continuously build up our mental health because with any little stress, sometimes anxiety and depression can come into play. So working on your mental health, working on your self-love, knowing your worth is extremely important because you don't want somebody, if you don't know your worth, any and anybody could come, especially those dusties that like to take full advantage could come and treat you like next to nothing and you don't get to be treated like the queen that you are. Another thing that you need to do when it comes to self-love is putting yourself first. Some women, especially like mothers and wives, they tend to see about everybody then leave themselves last. And in reality, how can you help someone if you yourself need help? How can you, you know, be of service or how can you really thrive if you yourself aren't fulfilled or you yourself you know you're constantly putting yourself last another thing you need to do in order to work on your mental health is to distance yourself from toxic people because we know they're not adding anything to our lives the next step or the next point is exercise exercise allows us to release some happy hormones and all the positive hormones and chemicals in our body reduce the fat and when we look our best we feel our best you tend to have less health implications and problems when you exercise regularly and what you tend to see is a lot of affluent men tend to find women who are more fit or just in general healthy to be more desirable and of course we want to find a man of means we want to find somebody who looks at us and finds us beautiful so when you look your best you feel your best you get the inside and outwardly appearance improvements and through exercise you must also eat well otherwise you're just combating the whole thing in the first place next it's important to dress the part go shopping Sometimes we tend to settle for mediocrity. Sometimes we tend to say, oh, I could not spend money here. I need to save a little there. And yes, budgeting, saving, all of that is important. But how are you leveling up if you aren't leveling up your look? So your look is very important. And in order to level up, a key factor in this is improving your femininity. Um, In this particular case, we're talking about um, femininity of your appearance. I recommend wearing dresses. Like me personally, I feel awesome in a dress. Um, When I was younger, you know, before learning about all of this with femininity and your feminine energy and the what you exude and what people gather from you based on your look and your, you know, your aura, your energy. I tend to wear a lot, a lot of pants. I really didn't like dresses. But now that I look back on it, I realize how feminine dresses are. Nothing is wrong with jeans, but you know, add a few dresses in there. So dresses, blouses, skirts, you know, might even want to go out and get new underwear. But an important thing to remember is you don't want to go broke trying to look good. So look for the sales or look for clothing that you know would last you and that would wear well over time. Another aspect of your appearance would be makeup. Now I personally 
never liked wearing makeup it's only now every now and then i would try to put on some makeup but i i don't really like heavy makeup and that's another thing where femininity is concerned you don't need heavy makeup to look beautiful to look feminine so you know simple nice filled in eyebrows you could go get your eyebrows done if you wish especially if you have more unruly eyebrows um you can just you know have a nice foundation if you don't like foundation there's always tinted moisturizers bb cream cc creams and you know like a nice lip balm if you don't like lipstick or lipsticks try not to wear too loud colors because it kind of takes away from the femininity and the daintiness of it all because at the end of the day especially if it's an everyday scenario you don't want to look overdone another thing you can do with just any part is wearing some nice perfume because obviously scent is a very um attractive thing i sure there are a lot of guys or well, a few guys you know where when you smell them or if you smell your boyfriend or your husband or whoever you get like weak instantly so it goes both ways wear nice perfume you don't want it to be too strong where you know soon as somebody passes they're sneezing like crazy i can't stand perfume like that i personally like floral scents um sweet scents berry scents that kind of thing if you do i put i don't think that those stronger muscular scents are feminine but that's just my little two cents on that handbags are another great way of dressing up an outfit so i myself um, have been getting into that a lot lately and can't wait to like to go shopping all the time because i'm actually graduating from college so when i start working full time and everything is in order can't wait to go shopping and getting a handbag every now and then and leveling up way more so we're on this journey together more or less shoes is another thing just wear some flattering shoes heels are nice i know not all the time heels might be appropriate or the best for the situation but whatever shoes or flats or whatever you do wear tend to you know make sure it's dressy and cute and feminine i don't recommend sneakers because they just they just don't scream feminine they're more of a masculine type of shoe of course if you're going on sports day or you're going to the gym or whatever it's inevitable so the fourth thing that you need to do in order to level up get in the practice of pampering yourself this could be your hair doing up your hair looking real cute having your nails done doing the occasional manicure and pedicure spoil yourself i mean you deserve it right skincare when you have your skincare routine down pat you know that you will age really well your skin will be doing really well you would need less makeup so that's like a win-win and of course be sure to rest when you're tired or just in general take a little beauty naps rest don't overwork yourself because when you overwork yourself you start to get into your masculine and your masculine energy and that does not attract the person that you want or need now it's important when pampering yourself the next thing you must do which kind of works hand in hand is treat yourself whether it be a new trip or a staycation vacation vacation whichever um, a new phone a fancy dinner going out on dates more often whether you're single or you're in a relationship and obviously in that case the person will be treating you but at the end of the day you're being treated so and you're putting yourself in that position to be treated so you're treating yourself buying jewelry so you could do this for yourself as well you don't always need to go out with somebody if one randomly you say you know what i want to go out and buy some jewelry get a new pair of earrings whatever the case is just treat yourself 
And now my last set of tips is to invest in yourself. When you invest in yourself, you have a return on that investment or those investments. So whether it be, and I recommend all or at least a few of these, your education, right? Um, whether you want to start a business or engaging in a new hobby and even just in general, redecorating or decluttering or cleaning your space you tend to have a more open mind a freer mind less stressed when business is in order and when your space is in order that might be um, adopting a more minimalist style in terms of decor and stuff or just adding a hint of femininity so these are my tips on how you can spoil yourself in the goal or the aim of leveling up so i hope that these tips were helpful and that brings us to the end of this week's episode of the donna bella podcast don't forget to join us next week for another episode thank you so much for listening